There have been many amazing women that I've looked up to. One that has had a transformative impact on my life was a woman with crazy red hair, an A-line dress covered in lightning bolts, and a magic bus. <laughs> I am eight years old. It's Saturday morning. I am sitting way too close to the TV watching cartoons with a bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch in my hand, and I hear this song. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. It was her, Miss Frizzle, the woman with crazy red hair, an A-line dress covered in lightning bolts, and a magic bus. And suddenly, I wasn't sitting in front of the TV watching cartoons anymore. I was sitting with Miss Frizzle and her class, and we were driving head first into the mouth of a fourth grader. <laughs> My eyes opened wide, my heart leapt. I could not believe what I was experiencing. I was going into the human body of someone else. Propelling past his tongue, Miss Frizzle drove our bus head first down his throat and we land in this giant pool of liquid. We start to see sounds of bubbling and gurgling dance around us and Miss Frizzle points out that it's actually we're in Arnold's stomach. We start to see large pieces of carbohydrates float by us. And Miss Frizzle points out, that's Arnold's sandwich. <laughs> she invites us to suit up and put on our snorkel gear so we can follow where his sandwich goes next. And so as we start to swim through his body, the liquid that starts, was around us starts to get absorbed into the walls. And we quickly realize that we need to take off our helmets. So we take off our helmets and we all look at each other because we start to smell this horrible odor. We are in Arnold's large intestine. <laughs> now, as you can imagine, there is so much more to this story. <laughs> but let's just say that Miss Frizzle safely guided the class to the exit of this wild and crazy ride. <laughs> this class, including me, will never forget this important lesson of the digestive system. This was an imprint moment for me. What's an imprint moment? Well, we've all had them. Think back. Maybe it was the first time you burned your hand on a hot pan when you were making brownies. Maybe it was the first time you learned about the tide because you stuck your toes in the sand and felt the water pull beneath your feet. Or maybe it was even your first kiss. I can still hear the song that was playing in the background, my heart leaping from my chest and those butterflies dancing in my stomach. We've all had these moments when all of our senses were engaged, ones that we can still see, smell, taste, touch, hear, and feel. These are the moments that are cataloged in the vault of our brain as these critical experiences that help us to learn and to grow. And that's what I loved about Miss Frizzle, is that every Saturday morning I could count on a new adventure, one that put me inside the story and brought the learning to life. So this really got me thinking. If learning about the world by stepping into it was so impactful for Miss Frizzle's class and for me, could this be how we all learned about the world? As I look back on my career now, it is now just so clear what has influenced the goals and the trajectory that I've set for myself. Miss Frizzle has been subconsciously in my brain, inspiring me to help create a company that today is called Lucy Creative. And today this company has created over 100 in-person immersive learning experiences. From interpreting historic sites to bringing science, math, art, technology to life in museums to tell stories to students around the world. We create imprint moments. We put visitors inside the story and bring the learning to life. So, recently, I went to one of our exhibits in a science museum that reveals to the world about how the same mathematical patterns that exist in the natural world also exist in the built world and our own bodies. It's called the golden ratio. Did you know that the same spiral pattern that makes up a galaxy in outer space is also the same proportion and spiral pattern that makes up a nautilus shell, 
the center eye of a hurricane and a fiddlehead fern? As visitors enter this exhibit, they're introduced to this concept through a film that layers on this pattern to the things that they might see from their everyday life. We then invite them to interact and experiment with these patterns to try to test us wrong to see is it really possible that they're teaching us this? We then invite them and transport them into an immersive space where they go through this mirror maze trying to find their way through it. And by the end, we bring them into a room where we actually introduce these concepts again and give them opportunities to interact and play with them through different themes like art, architecture, music, and even their own bodies. My favorite experience is at the end, when visitors get to step up to this magical mirror, the mirror reads the unique proportions of their bodies, and then shows them that, hey, these mathematical proportions exist in your body, also really do exist in the natural world. Now, we can teach these complex and sometimes boring concepts about math in the classroom. We tried to teach these complex concepts about math online during the pandemic, and we all know how that turned out. But as Ms. Frizzle taught me, by putting visitors inside the stories and bringing the learning to life, we can create lasting impressions on individuals and imprint moments. So the big question is, how do we find more of these imprint experiences in our everyday life? Experience, experience is in our DNA. Coming out of the pandemic, did you do something crazy or try something new that you might not have done before 2020? I know I did. My husband and I were so ready to experience the world after being inside for nearly a year that we could not wait to feel the hot sun on our face, stick our toes in the hot sand, taste the ocean salt water in our mouth, and stand inside of a misty rainforest. Airports are busier now more than they have ever been. Disney and Universal this past year just announced that they had all-time attendance records for, at their parks around the globe. In fact, they both just announced this past week, good timing, that they're investing billions of dollars in building brand new theme parks in Orlando, Florida. The experience economy is projected to grow by 130% from 2019 to become a whopping $12 trillion industry by 2028. And then there's retail. Think back, all of the retail stores that were once investing heavily in e-commerce platforms are now transitioning back to brick and mortar stores. Look here, Vans, the shoe wear company, is now creating an experience called House of Vans, where you can go not only buy your new pair of shoes, but you can also try them at an indoor skate park, eat while you're there with your friends in their cafe, participate and contribute to a global art community, and then also come back for a concert later. IKEA, IKEA is hosting in-person sleepovers in their stores. <laughs> Wayfair, Wayfair, an e-commerce company, is now building a 150,000 square foot store just down the street from here in Wilmette. And then there's a company called Camp who are reinventing the toy buying experience. Now from the outside of the store, it doesn't look like much different than any other store, but they have what nobody else has, a secret passage. For $40, visitors can enter the store with the magic door and be transported into a world where they get to immerse and play with their favorite brands. Imagine, your kids get to have a real-life dance party with the cast of Trolls. Your kids get to build a cardboard fort castle with Bluey and her sister. You get to walk into the real-life doors of the house from Encanto. These brands are investing wholly in these in-person experiences so that visitors and customers can experience them and again, create these imprint moments. So, it's happening. Retail, education, entertainment. Miss Frizzle's philosophy is coming to life everywhere. 
Researchers have been studying the impact of these imprint experiences at the University of California. And what they've found is that although the greatest influence of imprint experiences happen on a young child, on their brain and their sensory system, that influences actually who they become as an adult. Your brain and your sensory system can continue to be impacted by these imprint experiences throughout your entire lifetime. So the big question is, how can we find more of these imprint experiences for ourselves and for our kids? It doesn't have to be hard, and it doesn't have to be as crazy as shrinking down to the size of a magic school bus and flying into the human body of someone else. We can find these experiences just outside our doors and in our communities. Want to travel to India and go to Mumbai, but the plane ride is just too far? Go visit Devon Avenue, and immediately upon arrival, you'll be transported into a cultural immersion. You'll hear a new language, You'll see amazing textiles and colors of saris in the store windows of the retail. You'll smell the aromas of cardamom and masala and cumin coming from the restaurants. And while you're there, be sure to stop and taste one of those authentic flavors. Want to go to the Amazon rainforest but don't have the time? Go to Chicago Nature's Museum and visit a live indoor butterfly garden where upon arrival, you'll be immediately transported into a tropical oasis. Feel the humidity in the air. Smell the fragrances of its sweet flowers in the tropical environment. And stand and watch as hundreds, if not thousands, of butterflies dance around you. And if you stand still long enough, one of those butterflies might even land on your shoulder. We can find imprint moments even just outside our door. So I ask you when you leave today, try this with me. Next time you leave your house, just pause for a minute. Close your eyes. Feel the hot sun on your face. Go for a walk in your neighborhood and listen to the sounds of nature or the sounds of a bustling city. Smell the fresh cut grass this spring. Taste something new at a farmer's market this summer. So let's get out of our comfort zones. Let's experience the world through all of our senses. Let's see, touch, taste, feel, smell, and hear with our heads, our hands, and our hearts. And together, let's be our own Miss Frizzle and find and create imprint experiences. Thank you.